So for today's Thriller Thursday, I'm talking about a gay thriller that takes place at an evil, evil gay conversion camp. Sound interesting? Well then stick around. Hey friends, Roger here, and welcome to my channel, Roger's Reads. So today, we're talking about a book entitled, Surrender Your Sons, written by Adam Sass. So the story follows Connor Major, a gay teen who, at the incessant urging of his boyfriend, Aria, has just come out to his mother. Well, his mother did not take it well at all. Especially since recently she's become quite a religious zealot after getting involved with a fundamentalist Christian church led by a super creepy pastor. So Connor hopes that his mom will come around and end up accepting him, but instead she has him kidnapped in the middle of the night and he is sent to a religious conversion camp on a secluded island off of Costa Rica. I know, right? And thus, Connor's nightmare begins. So this ended up being quite a disturbing thriller, a dark, raw, intense, and heartbreaking story that explored pretty dark themes of suicide, homophobia, parental abuse, uh, physical abuse, mental abuse, murder, conversion therapy, and religious zealotry. Now, I thought that the author did an excellent job of capturing the camp's horror, the terror of the campers, into the written word. We witness firsthand the brutality of the uh, camp counselors and the monstrous things that they do to the young prisoners. So, in addition to being poignant, the story is also atmospheric and evocative. The author also gives us some fantastic side characters, and I thought the queer kids in this story were utterly brave and commendable, considering the unimaginably terrifying situation in which they found themselves. No matter what monstrous events they went through, the theme of hope ran throughout the narrative. So though the book was indeed quite dark and creepy in places, there was always that light of hope in the darkness. I really love the camaraderie and the solidarity that developed between the campers as they faced the unimaginable odds and ended up turning the tables on their captors. So in this way, this dark and disturbing survivalist story ends up being a hopeful tale of bravery and resilience. Though it was an uncomfortable, intense, and violent book that delved into some pretty gritty places, it was also fast-paced, twisty, thrilling, and adventuresome. In fact, the entire story took place over the course of two days, I do believe, which really lent a sense of urgency to the story. The book also ended up being quite a compelling mystery as Connor and a few of the other campers began investigating the mysterious death of a former camper, leading them to uncover the camp's darkest and deepest secrets. So yes, I found Surrender Your Sons to be compelling, gripping, and unputdownable as secrets were slowly revealed one by one by one. Surrender Your Sons also had quite a satisfying conclusion with everything neatly tied up at the end and in my opinion is well worth the read. But again, be warned, this does delve into some dark places so sensitive readers might have a hard time with it. I personally ended up loving this book and I'm planning on reading more by this author. And that about does it for this Thriller Thursday. Um, did you like this video? If so, please click the like button below as that really helps my channel out. As always, I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support and I will talk to you all in the next video. Roger and out. Ooh.